Hey mermaids, it's Tracy. My channel's Tracy from the Mermaid Co. Thank you for being here. I got a couple things to taste and then I'm doing an unboxing of things that have been unboxed that I need to put away. So it's like a random hodgepodge of things I've gotten or been given to me <coughs> I find interesting. So the first thing I am going to try, these are the new um, Hershey Colliders. This one is chop chocolate flavored dessert with dark chocolate pieces. Um, I want to say it was $3, but they, I've seen them on sale, but there's a variety, a variety of different ones to try. Basically it's pudding. So you get two. So it comes with a, um, a little top. I tried the Rolo one and that did not have the top. So let's see how darn hard this is to get off. If I'm doing it right, maybe there's instruction. There we go. Okay. So you get them separate. Now I like Hershey's chocolate. It's basically just a chocolate pudding, right? You know, love me some pudding. Okay, and then the pieces come separately. Flip it. Okay, we're well Hershey's Meats Dessert. So you get some of these little tiny The darker chocolate. So I'm gonna mix it in. I'm gonna have a piece with just the pudding. You know, that looks like a good pudding. Now let's get one with some chocolate. Chocolate is very satisfying. You know, it gives you a little, yeah. I like it. So maybe I'll end up trying them all. I'll try the Rolos. I'm not so much sure how Rolo-ish flavor it was. And my friend Cindy and Minnie gave me this. <clears throat> chick o stick So this is a crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. I think this is like super popular in New York. They're from New York. Not the biggest fan of coconut. But I'm going to try it. <clears throat> I'm going to turn you around so you can see Oscar, my male cat. Can you see him laying? <laughs> and this one, she just got up from her nap. She's hungry. Oscar's been canoodling with me. God love a male cat. Claire, you would not find Claire like that ever. Okay. So it comes, I guess, in two pieces or it broke. Have y'all had this? Crunchy peanut butter rolled and toasted. It's good. I had some blush, so now I look like I got a fever. Yeah. It's different. I'm not sure where they got it. I'm sure you know now they sell all kinds of stuff everywhere. Okay. Like I said, I have a bunch of everything. So maybe I'll have two parts. I don't know. At this point, I've lost track. I wanted to share this with you. So, Winnie and I, the first year after my mother died, went to the Outer Banks. We've been there before a bit. And on my mom's birthday to celebrate her, and one of the things we did is we went in a biplane to fly around the Outer Banks. Just something we've never done, something I probably would have never done. But, so the, the guy took pictures of us and Mimi had it made into a pillow. I mean, if you just, I love this. She's so happy. We were, we were just so thrilled and laughing and having fun. And so I've been sleeping with my Mimi pillow. Anyway, that's a treasure. And that after that <coughs> we went to a really nice restaurant which i can't think about which somebody told me about i had dinner and it was lovely and they were so kind and brought desserts for me for my mom and gave us a glass of champagne and good times good memories I'm not gonna cry not crying so the other thing is um you know i believe in symbols and signs 
and you know I said Mimi let's do the color orange uh but she said white pelican so I told my sister-in-law this this came in the mail <laughs> white pelican so you never know you never know where it's going to come from my sister-in-law got to meet my Mimi when um, she came up for my mother's celebration. And Mimi's kind of been, you know, like my niece and nephew, you know, she's been around. She hadn't lived here in a long time, but she was such a force of my life. So, yeah. So, Anne, thank you. And, um, okay, so this is random. Somebody at work was talking, and they started during the quarantine <coughs> ordering bamboo toilet paper. So, it's... I don't know. It's who gives a crap org, so you can order it yourself. It's so clever, and yeah. So I don't know. It's probably you know the idea was it was coming. She didn't have to worry about looking for it. So don't know. It's it looks like it's two ply, right? It feels super soft. So it was very kind of her to give me a sample. So yeah, I'll let you know. I haven't. I haven't. I won't test it for you right now, but I'll let you know. Um, but I didn't look online to see prices, but that's easy enough to do. And she said it was just super nice to have toilet paper delivered to your house when everyone was running around. So I'm sure it's not cheap. <coughs> I'm sure. Okay. What do I have next? Let me just randomly grab stuff. I'm way behind on this. But I did two cooking things today. Very impressed with myself. I wanted to do three, but I had to call time out. So this is for my niece, my aunt's um, niece, her brother's daughter. Um, she's turning six or seven. I feel like this might, I don't know. This might be too small. Yikes. But how cute. But you know, because uh, she's tall for her age. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask Anne. But anyway, I'll have to sort that out because her birthday is coming up soon. How cute is that? But I could put this on a shirt for myself, right? It's really nice material, though. Or maybe I could return it, probably, <clears throat> and get another size. I think that's probably what I'll do. But... I think she's going to like that. She's adopted. She's um, part African-American, part white. And um, her mom gave her up for adoption. Uh, never, you know, there's an open adoption. But uh, she got pretty lucky. She's pretty well loved. She's super smart. And they um, moved to Colorado. Okay. Now this I got in the mail. Art, look how cute. I'm drawing. I feel like my my friend Amy Jo sent them to me. I don't remember. Oh my God. That's crazy. Anyway, cats and books, right? They're men's socks. Well, it fits women 10 to 12. So that's fine. I'm a 10. So I'd rather have my socks a little bigger. How funny is that? Uh, let's see. <coughs> so these I ordered <coughs> off Amazon. I got one for a friend, but look at this. Right? How pretty is that? With the paper? Look at that. Every, I don't know. I thought I would journal or, I don't know, write memories of Mimi in it. Signs, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it was under $10. But if you do like, um, maybe I'll write the name down on Instagram. I'll find the exact name. And this was so much fun. Now the one I got, for my friend for Easter had deer. She loves deer on every page. So this, look at that cute cat. Look at this little. But again, every page. Let me see if this is the best way to do this. Every page. Look at that. It's like a started art journal. Isn't that amazing? So I've been using it for YouTube um, stuff. Stuff I want to film, stuff I want to learn. Um, 
There is my, I've been looking for this Trader Joe's receipt and there it is. And look at that cat. So yeah, when you do mixed media collage, I could do collages on it. So I don't know, it just, it made me super happy. It's just fun. I think it's a great gift again, under $10. So yeah, a little butterfly. It feels good. So yeah, I love that. It's ant season and I'm unpleased. Oh yeah, these are, these are definitely for my friend, Amy Jo. <coughs> Do you guys use tarot? <coughs> I can't have it in my house because of my animals. So I'm going to get, I saw one. So I'm going to get on top of it. I'm going to put all these outside where I need to put them. Can't stand the ants. And this seems to be the only thing that works. And I never ever find them in a store. So I got it from Amazon. Yep. Ugh, the ants drive me crazy. Now this, my friend Angela, who I gave um, the deer one for Easter got me this. It is, this is so cool. So look how pretty this is, right? This is Mr. Ellie Pooh's handmade recycled paper. Elephant cons conservation through innovation. So these handcrafted products were made with a mixture of elephant waste and post-consumer paper. They were pulped to perfection by the elephants of Sri Lanka. They eat, they poop, they boil and sanitize. It comes to a pulp, clean, odorless, echo friendly acid free paper so you can actually go to um mi uh mr ellie poop dot com and it sh i no no she she gets everything from amazon so look at this beautiful drawing of an elephant in this story but yeah it's all the same paper <clears throat> you know you obviously, you know, it doesn't smell like, I don't know what elephant poop smells like, but I've never met poop that doesn't smell good. I mean, that smells good. So, yeah, I just, I love the hand torn collage. This is, um, like 3D. Isn't that just fabulous? So, you know, people are making a living. How to support that. So, yeah, so I got lots of nice journals. So, my friend who sent me the socks, <clears throat> she's in Arizona. She also sent me this. So this is something I would wear over my other mask. Anyway, looks like, I don't know. <coughs> I'll probably be wearing masks forever. Now, I can't remember if I talked about this before. Like I said, this is all random. Oscar, really? Oscar, you don't need to eat clear food. Shame, anyway. So it's got um, electrolytes, hydrant rapid hydration mix. Cause I felt like I wasn't getting enough hydration, you know, crying all the time and not eating. You get 10, they're expensive, um, but it helps you rehydrate. So I save them like for when I don't feel good, like you've been sick or out in the heat, but yeah, they, they taste fine. You know, they don't taste like a cocktail or anything, but. And then I love stamps and one time I don't, yeah, I have my book here. One time I'll show you my book of stamps. I'm not a collector, like first edition or first day release or any of that, or, but I like them and I think they're pretty and I think they're like art objects. So I always, when I go, I went to mail my friend's husband a package. <clears throat> so I always say, let me look at the new stamps. <clears throat> Garden Beauty. Isn't that pretty? Because I still do send cards. I'm trying to be better about it. And this one is called Espresso Drinks. And I got Espresso, Cafe Latte, Cafe Mocha, Cappuccino. Very Art Deco, right? Very um, Edward Hopper-ish, kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> so I will give you <coughs> a quick preview. But like, this is my little binder, right? And then literally all these are stamps. So, oops. So one day, I'm gonna put these there. If you want to, I'll go, well, you know, I'll just go through my stamps. That's kind of fun, to, fun thing to share. And then my friend got me this, No Drama Llama. How cute, little watercolor. People are so talented. And I love, you know, Mimi and I, <coughs> we send packages to each other, we would decorate them. Sometimes that would take me forever. But I would just like, 
keep random magazine pages or, you know, she loved a pug or something outrageous. Um, yeah. But the card to go in my collection. Okay. So this ring, Ivy Wood, how pretty is under $40 from QVC. So sort of like I take it off at night, <clears throat> put it in my bathroom and in the morning, I spend a minute with myself thinking about how I want to honor myself that day. And it can be very simple or, you know, like I want to honor myself by meditating. I want to honor myself by not doing too much, you know, whatever it is. I want to honor myself by going in nature and walking. And then I put it on. And when I see it, I think about, am I honoring myself? Am I taking care of myself? You know? But anyway, I just thought it was so pretty. And, and I, I don't really wear And the funny thing is, I don't wear rings. I don't have rings. Um, <clears throat> I had to guess my size and I guessed right. Because this is exactly the finger I wanted to wear it on. So, <clears throat> yeah, QVC. Could not be having that channel on. Speaking of QVC. So, I love Skechers. They're my favorite Skechers. So, uh, I usually get a pair in the fall and a pair in the uh, spring. But these, look at them. They're like glittery sketchers, right? And just so cute. And even the ones that weren't washable before you can wash. But I have many, many pair. But now I'm going to have to get all my sketchers together <clears throat> and let a pair go. And then bring these out. <coughs> They had a pretty um, pink color, but light for me, they're going to get messed up and it's going to drive me crazy. Like I have a cute pair of light purple. Anyway, I think they were under 60. <sighs> I love them. What else do I have in my little bag here? I don't even remember some of this. All right, so my iPhone, which you can't see because I'm filming on it, the screen's broken, and I really need to go to uh, Apple and have it fixed, but I don't want to go to Apple. I want to go to the mall. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max screen protector. So <laughs> I'm trying to, I meant to take it to my friend Michelle and help me, help, help, have her help me do it or do it because she did the last one really well, but it has this whole thing and you get a couple and then you slide it and... You know, I, I I don't want to mess that up. Or when my nephew comes, maybe. But I've had it a while, so just follow directions and go slow, right? I should be okay. Um, what else? Oh, my friend for Easter. So look how cute this watch is. Right? For all you leopard people, cats and glasses. So adorable. And... Uh, I think it keeps, I got to put in, I don't have a clock right now. I got to put it, my Fitbit is um, saying it is 7-17 March 26. But yeah, isn't that fun? I just, yeah, I think she got it on Amazon. My cute little watch. And then this is just the box that my ring came in. <clears throat> and she got, my friend got me another card. She goes to um, like a garden place. Because sometimes you just need a rainbow unicorn butterfly kitten. I would say always, right? And this is Brighten Everyone's Future. I guess it's made with all kinds of, you know, reusable things. And... I love these envelopes. We went through an envelope making time. You get like old pages out of different books that are bigger and you trace, like you would open this up and trace it. Actually, this is a good one because the pointy ones are harder. This is actually an awesome one to um, make your own envelopes. Maybe I'll show that one day. It's so much fun. And this is Keto Vitals Electrolyte Powder Refreshing Flavors. No carbs, no calories. Oh no, this was impulsive. I'm trying not to do that. You add one pack to 12 ounces of very cold water. Um, but I guess it's like when you're eating differently, it's got all kinds of things. I haven't tried it. I'll have to taste test it for you. 
You know, why don't I do it now? <clears throat> I have a fresh glass of water here. Let's see. Sometimes these things are just, I think, stevia leaf. Okay. Silicon dioxide. Hmm. Let me drink something silicon dioxide. Anyway, I, what do you guys that are keto or low carb, what kind of sugar substitute do you use? I heard something called Swerve. Uh, I'd like to try it in my coffee because if I could, uh, or my tea. I only do like a tablespoon, but still, I don't want that to be the first thing I'm doing in the morning. Cheers. Um, mm. yuck. It's super duper sweet. Uh, electrolyte powdered dietary supplement raspberry lemonade. Hmm. This kind of thing, because you know, sometimes you eat low carb, your, your calves like hurt. I'm gonna make myself finish this. Woo! But I, I can't, ugh. I can't stand that it's super sweet. I don't know. Not buying stuff like that anymore. Okay, so I think that was it. I thought I had more than I did. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I am getting caught up and now I got to get all this put away. I've been very good today. I made two, two, videos for cooking. I did this one. Um, I won't be able to, my, it takes forever to get my iCloud to get up so I can edit it. And I'm learning editing. Oh my God. My poor friend, I called her 12 times. I'm like, well, what do I do now? What do I do now? Cause she showed me yesterday. I finished one. I put it up. So I wanted to do another one. It, you know what? <clears throat> so I need to do it every day just so at least I remember, but I, I, I'm not an editor, right? I'm not patient. It makes me anxious. And you have to like watch the same thing over and over. Just the talent. I need a team. So anybody out there want to work pro bono? Hair, makeup, clean up after me in the kitchen when I cook, uh, do my editing. But you know, on Instagram right now, I'm getting all these people sending me requests. Like they can help me grow my channel and stuff like that. And I'm like, really? Do people really do that? Because... I'm happy to grow it organically and spread through the word of people who watch me as opposed to somebody in another country who thinks they can help me. But I guess everyone's trying to make a buck, make a living. So not for me. Be super duper careful on anything. You know, never click on a link, all that. Okay. Well, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I was, I feel like I had something else to tell you or show you. I guess not. I do have two more decluttering of the refrigerator and I'm going to choose my next thing to declutter. And I might bring you close to my clothes closet if nobody will judge me because I love clothes. I think as being, um, God, back in the day, you were a Husky. You had to go to the Husky department because I've always been large size and, you know, for a long time, clothes were just terrible. I used to wear men's sweatshirts and tops. So, um, but now everything's so cute and the right size and it fits, it's comfortable. So I've gone a little over crazy, but now that I need to watch my pennies, I am um, trying to shop my own closet. So what I want to do is every day put on a new top <clears throat> and either I leave the house with it on or I don't like it, don't feel good in it, immediately goes in a box to go to the food bank. Yeah, it just seems to be what is going to work for me. Cause you know, you know, immediately and you think, oh, well, I mean, if, I do have a few things like if I lose weight, I don't have much, maybe a size smaller. I got rid of everything. It was like five sizes, you know, things that will have to wait and put on my corpse. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, um, maybe I'm judging myself thinking you're going to judge me. I don't know. I just need support and encouragement. And when I do this, I'm a little bit more accountable. So we'll see, but you can be like, girl, you, and I look at clothes all the time. I'm desperate for new clothes. <laughs> I know it has nothing to do with anything rational, but you know, and my mom and I paid for half of everything and it's been tough. So I, you know, pick and choose. And I think Tracy, just because you can't have this really cute, like cardigan with cats on it, does not mean your life is over, does it? No, I mean, really it's, a, it's, it's not obscene, but just shows how much I, I'm a product of growing up in the 70s and 80s where it was all about buying things and owning things and I really want to break free of that and just share so yeah 
fingers crossed. But thank you guys, your support. I'm, um, you know, I'm feeling a little better. And again, grief comes in waves. But uh, yeah, a day at a time. Life is for the living. I'm reading my healing books and spending time thinking and remembering. And I don't know. Do you think sometimes if you close your eyes and you think of a memory, like you're actually back in that memory? I don't know how time works. I don't. But I know it doesn't work the way we think it works. Oh, but the other thing is, me, me hated that I was growing my hair out. What was, you know, it was quarantine. I'm not going to cut my own hair. And I had told her about, like, maybe I would grow out my natural hair color. She's no short and blonde. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just so easy, right, to pull back. And I don't know. I have to see. But I will definitely move back towards my little cute haircut. But then you have to go all the time when you get a haircut. Now, you know, maybe I'll get the edges trimmed and see. But anyway, thank you guys. I ramble. That's what I do. I'm best at rambling. I'm going to do some more vlogging. Right? Maybe my close thing will be a vlog. So I'll be talking. Okay. See you soon.